a short presentation on the Mike Kerb College Interdisciplinary Pilot Project Grant um, that I received for spring 2023. My name is Julia Schlosser. I'm a lecturer in the art history and photography areas. And for this uh, pilot project, I used uh, my asynchronous Art 462 History of Photography class. Um, in fall 2022, uh, Chris Bolzman, who is a sociologist and a professor in the kinesiology departments, um, he took my Art 462 class, and over the course of the semester, um, we struck up a conversation. Um, Chris was really engaged with the material. Um, it was great to have him in the class, and he had also taken several photography classes. And so when I got the announcement for the pilot project, I immediately reached out to him. He was very enthusiastic, and we came up with a plan to pair my Art 462 asynchronous class with his KIN 407 um, Sport, Culture, and Society class um, which is, was also asynchronous. Um, so we paired the two classes, we applied for the grant and we received it. And um, uh, so what we decided because we wanted students, you know, the whole point was to have collaboration between the two different classes. And because it was an asynchronous class, we needed for the students to be able to, um, to interact with each other on Canvas. And the way we came up to do that was we created our own, obviously with the help of, of IT, we created a, 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 a joint um, Canvas class where we invited the participants from both of our classes um, to uh, log on and uh, where they were able to uh, create, you know, to interact with each other um, in the um, in the discussion forums. And so you can see here, um, you know, it was, it was a pretty monumental effort to create this entire um, class. And uh, so we had all of our discussions and our different assignments um, on the same um, Canvas page so the students can interact. We made welcome videos for all of the different um, assignments. And uh, so this was a four week module um, that combined uh, the history of photography and um, photographic images of uh, physical activity, as was defined by the, um, the WHO. And uh, we used um, one of an image that Chris had taken. Um, we were very interested in the looking th through the lens of race, uh, gender, and uh, ableism. And we used an image that Chris had taken of uh, soccer players playing on um, a land which had formerly been um, a slave trading center. And so we used this as uh, kind of our touchstone image and uh, we um, made lots of you know examples uh, for the students on how to do visual analysis um, and sociological analysis. Um, so it was kind of fun to use his image. Um, so in the pilot project, um, Participants of both of our classes collaborated over four weeks during the spring semester. We utilized the lenses of race, gender, and age and ableism to analyze uh, photographic depictions of, of physical activity, narratives based on photographic representations of different societal groups, are um, obviously socially constructed according to predominant um, uh, discourses. And so we, um, you know, kind of uh, allow the students to uh, examine um, these images through those um, through those lenses. And one of the really great things is by having this so front and center, um, later discussions were really enriched um, because students felt much more comfortable uh, kind of talking about things through these different lenses. All right, we also worked with Nicole Shibata, who's our CSUN metadata librarian, and um, Nicole created a 13-minute introductory video that walked students through um, the idea of, of digital photographic archives. So we decided to use the Tom and Ethel Bradley Center um, archive as the culminating project. And so we, she walked students through, you know, what is a photographic archive, how to do archival research, how to search for and cite the photographic images. Um, that they found in the archive. And uh, in the course of her video, she interviewed um, Dr. Keith Rice, um, who, who kind of talked more um, about the archive. And so what we asked students to do is select a topic related to physical activity, and then they search the collection for images for their final project for the module. 
And um, so we facilitated virtual discussions that were combined um, in both classes. We looked at the work of contemporary artists who were, are concerned with the visual representation of physical culture. And then this was complemented by exploring sociological theory um, dealing with a physical activity. And uh, the culminating project involves students analyzing a physical activity um, through exploration of the contents of the digital um, CSUN uh, library archive uh, concerned with physical activity. And then they also had to use um, so visual and kines kinesiological <laughs> literature to um, interpret these uh, images and they produced a slideshow and then finally they were asked to reflect on changes in their own understanding um, of the ways in which sociological meaning is embedded in photographic representations of physical activity um, and the students were really enthusiastic they found some um, really interesting um, kind of um, subject matter um, in the archives. Uh, one that was very fascinating to a lot of students was um, the, uh, female boxing um, in, uh, in Central America. Um, so here are some other examples. Um, we asked the students, you know, which module um, did they respond most favorably to? And I was really interested in the fact that they picked ableism, ability, and age, um, which is not something that I have really foregrounded um, previously. Um, in my um, art history class, so that was uh, uh, something you know new for me and, and really exciting to kind of uh, uh, think about. Um, and then we asked students, "Do you think you'll use any of the new skills you've learned in this module and other parts of your study?" And um, again, students you know um, responded favorably. One said, "I think learning to analyze photographs and viewing them through the formal." visual and sociological lens is very helpful and can be applied to my process in making art. Um, and so again, um, it was really, uh, I felt a very successful um, from the student work. Um, it was also really great for me uh, to work more with Nicole. And also um, one of the best things for me was the collaboration with Chris. Chris and I have really different styles of creating um, uh, uh, assignments and different lecture styles and I just learned so much um, from being in such close contact uh, to him. So um, I, I highly recommend this. This was a fantastic, uh, um, it was a lot of work but it was really great for me and uh, so there you go. Thanks.